This time, let's travel to the Yellowstone National Park. To get there, it's better to drive because you'll be able to drive around and see the park. And of course, you need a place to stay during your vacation there. The Yellowstone National Park was formed from the volcanic eruption millions of years ago. The whole park is basically one volcano. It has erupted with tremendous force several times in the last 2 million years. Half of the world's geysers and hydrothermal features are in Yellowstone, fueled by this ongoing volcanism. Lava flows and rocks from volcanic eruptions cover most of the land area of Yellowstone. The park is the centerpiece of the greater Yellowstone ecosystem, the largest remaining nearly intact ecosystem in the Earth's northern temperature zone. the Yellowstone National Park. It has canyons, alpine rivers, lush forests, hot springs, and gushing geysers, including the famous Old Faithful.
the steam you are seeing is boiling water from underground some of them erupt every three hours and some are every two hours <laughs> This is the famous Old Faithful. It is called Old Faithful because of its regularity to erupt every day. Its eruption is at least 17 times a day. It shoots water into the air at least 100 feet This raven is enjoying the show too. The rain did not stop the people from visiting this place. Another boiling hot geyser. If you toss an egg there, it will get cooked and ready to eat.
from all over the world are visiting this magnificent and huge place which is 3,471 square miles, the Yellowstone National Park. During the entire year, the rain falls for 151 days and collects up to 20.9 inches of precipitation. It's a lot of rain. Therefore, don't forget to bring your umbrellas and ponchos as part of your fashion. The whole park is an active one volcano that it can erupt anytime without you knowing it.
Steamboat Geyser is the world's tallest currently active geyser. Steamboat Geyser has two vents, a northern and a southern, approximately 20 feet apart. This is Castle Geyser. It is a cone geyser in the upper geyser basin of Yellowstone National Park. It is noted for the particularly large geyserite center deposit which form its cone. They call this Castle Geyser because of its castle shape.
Human geyser. This is Morning Glory Pool. The distinct color of the pool is due to bacteria which inhabit the water. On a few rare occasions, the Morning Glory Pool has erupted as a geyser. Usually, following an earthquake or other nearby seismic activity,
this is Riverside Geyser. The geyser is located on the Firehole River within the Upper Geyser Basin. The geyser shoots steam and water to heights of 75 feet in an arch over the river, sometimes causing rainbows. The eruptions occur every five and a half to seven hours. Huh? Okay. Done. So I want to get the all the. This is the Grotto Geyser. It is the namesake for the group of geysers that includes Grotto Fountain Geyser, South Grotto Fountain Geyser, Indicator Spring, Spa Geyser, Startling Geyser, and Rocket Geyser. <laughs> My other job.
dragon's mouth. That's a mud. They're not scared. Usually they stay on the, on the trees, but now they just stay on the ground. These elks are feeling safe on the road because they know they are protected. Watch out for animal traffic out there!
Okay, turn the smile. Back in the picture. Let's nurture the nature because it has impact to our lives in so many ways. Take nothing but pictures and leave nothing but footprints. And of course, cherish the memories. Thank you for being part of my adventure. Till next time.